sometimes we want a message to show up just for a little bit and then go away, right? So, well, I'll, I'll walk you through a way to display a message and then make it fade away completely after five seconds. It's it's a it's perfect for giving instructions and warnings to player without cluttering the the screen. Um, the final code is really simple, but I wonder if you can spot an improvement. I'll, I'll remind you at the end, but if, if you notice, leave a comment below. See if you can spot what could have been done better. So first things first, if we're going to make a message go away, we need to create a text uh, message object in here. So let's go to game object UI and text mesh pro. If you have been, if you have been watching the other tutorials, uh, you're probably familiar with this by now. Just making some small adjustments here. Here's the text message that we can make it go away. Adding a little color to it. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and add a script. I'm gonna call this one fade awake script. Double click so we can bring up Visual Studio here. We're gonna need some fields here. The first one is the fade time. This field will hold the amount of time that you want to pass before that message fades away. I'm not going to initialize anything. I'm going to make it public so then we can put a value on the editor under the inspector. The other field that we're going to need is the text mesh pro um, GUID. This one is a reference to our text object. We're going to use that get component function to actually get a reference during runtime. Now here in the update method, we're going to make sure that we still have time left. So just doing a quick check here, if, if fade time is greater than zero, then let's go ahead and then execute some logic. In this first go around, I'm simply going to take a slice of time out of that fade time because that's how you reduce the time. And I'm going to use that fade time as the alpha channel on that fade away text object. That's how we're going to make it go away. So back in Unity here, I'm going to drag and drop the fade away script onto the text mesh pro object. And I'm going to set the fade time to five seconds. Let's go ahead and run it and pay attention here. You can see the time going away, the object is not fading, and all of a sudden, it just fades really quickly. So I'm going to show you again. So click play. Look at the time up there, and then nothing's fading, and all of a sudden, just fades away. So the alpha channel goes from 0 to 1, and we are fading from 5 all the way to 0. So that works. <clears throat> But what we need to do here is actually fade it proportionally if we want a smooth fade. So I'm going to introduce a different variable here, uh, alpha value variable. And uh, I'm going to create that field up there, make it into a float called alpha value. I'm also not going to initialize to anything. We're going to do that in the start method. We're going to initialize the value of alpha value to the actual alpha value of the fade away text. So fade away text the color dot a for the alpha channel. That is going to be a value from zero to one. And now we want to calculate how much we should take away per second. And so let's introduce a new variable here called fade away per second. And the fade away per second is going to be one second divided by the fade time. That's going to tell us how much we want to take away per second, okay? And then our alpha value, so we're going to subtract the fade away per second times delta time because we don't want this to be taken out per frame, we want it per second. That's why we multiply times delta time. This this works. I'll show you that it works, but there is an improvement that could be made here. And this is the challenge question that I'll pose at the end of this video. I'm going to make these variables public so then we can see them in the inspector. So now I'm going to start the game paused so you can see the initial calculation. The alpha value is one and then the fade away per second was a calculated value. So one divided by five is 0 0.2. 
So we're going to take away 0.2 out of alpha per second. So you can see that it starts fading away all the way through the five seconds. Previously, it would not fade until the last second, but now it fades away smoothly throughout all five seconds. If we change it here to 10, you can see that the fade away per second, now it's cutting half, right? Because we're doubling the amount of time. So instead of 0 0.2 is 0 0.1, and we're taking 0 0.1 out of the alpha value. And so that is fading away very quickly. Now again, here's the challenge question for you. What do you think will happen if we don't start the alpha value at one? Do you think that fade away per second is still gonna work properly? If you know what would happen, or if you can try and test it, leave a comment below and let us know what you found out. Thank you for watching.